Galactic Navy Officer Becomes an Adventurer, written by Edo, Chapter 41 Armor, Weapons, and Plans Part 2. Well, let's just talk about money later. Just go ahead and choose your swords, girls. A corner of the shop was dedicated as a trial space for swords. Selena, Sharon, and Elna each took a sword and started swinging them over there. Elna chose a sword that looked quite similar to the one she's currently using, while Selena and Sharon chose swords that looked similar to mine. I'll take this one, Elna decided. It looks like Elna was pretty happy about getting a magic sword. In the end, she really chose the one that looked similar to her previous sword. Sharon and Selena were still busy swinging around the swords that looked similar to mine. It seems they exchanged swords earlier. Sharon, I think I'll get the sword you're trying out. It looks closer to Alan's sword in appearance. Selena declared. I also thought the same. However, I'm the one who's going to get this sword. I tried that sword first. I have first dibs. And when did we have such a rule, HM? And even so, I do not plan on handing it over anyway. Oh boy. It looks like they're fighting over there. Come on, you two. There's no need to choose a sword that looks similar to mine. It's better to choose one that feels right. Try to see if the length and weight fits you first before choosing. But, Alan, everything is mostly similar anyway. If that's the case, then I want to at least choose a sword that looks similar to yours. Selena asserted. I'm going to use my right as the winner of our bet. Sharon, give me that sword. Are you really fine with using it for this? Oh, all right. You still have two requests left then. Well, it looks like Sharon and Selena came to some sort of agreement in the end, so it's all good. They were talking about a bet or something. Well, at least all three have finally chosen their swords. All right, Joe. We'll get these three, please. I no longer need my former sword, Alan. Is it possible for us to sell it? Elna asked. Hey, Joe. Does this shop buy swords as well? Yes, we do. We give higher appraisals to regular customers as well. Can I see the sword you want to sell? Elna handed her old sword over to Joe. Oh, this isn't a magic sword, but among normal ones, this is of the finest make. And it has also been properly maintained. I'll buy this off you for 30,000 guineas. How about it, Elna? Sounds fine. I didn't expect it would sell for 30,000 guineas. Then let's not include that 30,000 to the party funds. It's Elna's money after all. Why? Of course it should be added to the party funds. Elna objected. But since it's money earned from selling one of your belongings, the money should belong to you, right? No, Alan. Since we used the party funds to buy a new sword for her, then it's just fair to include the money earned from selling her old sword to the party funds. Cleria chimed in. Is that so? All right then. I'll add it to the funds. So I ended up paying 255,000 guineas to Joe after subtracting the payment for Elna's old sword. Oh, earnings like this is a first for our store. The two ladies over there don't have belts to hang their swords on, right? Take it as part of the service. Please feel free to choose the belts you like. They're over there. Now that he mentioned it, it's true that Sharon and Selena don't have sword belts on them. The two of them proceeded to choose belts for themselves. I'll take this one. It seems they finished selecting their belts. They hung their swords on their waists using them right away. On the other side, they put in their laser guns on the part supposed to be used for holding knives. It seems they put them in their uniform pockets earlier. Thanks a bunch, Joe. We'll pay a visit if something comes up again. Well, swords need regular maintenance after all. Feel free to drop by. We left the weapon shop and talked about our next plans for the day. As usual, it was decided that we'll get some magic practice after checking up on the quest we put up at the Adventurer's Guild. The guild building was nearby anyway. Are those things on Sharon and Selena's belts the same ones as Alan's? Cleria suddenly asked. Oh yeah, Cleria's already seen me use my laser gun and pulse rifle. Yeah. They're basically weapons issued in the military we were part of. Weapons. So your military possesses a lot of these powerful weapons? 
They didn't have auto tracking like the pulse rifle, but their power wouldn't lose out to a rifle at close range. Yeah. They might even be more powerful than magic spells at close range. Really? So, before we could enter the guild building, someone suddenly called us from behind. And I think I hear the words, Your Highness, as well. Clearia was surprised and turned around to find five men in adventurer garb standing in front of her. Your Highness, I heard such words. It has been a long time since I have been addressed like that. I was surprised and turned around to find familiar faces standing in front of me. Dalsham, you are Dalsham, correct? And the rest of you as well. It has been a long time, Your Royal Highness. It gladdens our hearts to see you safe and sound. Oh, I'm also happy to see you all all right. And if isn't Baron Sergio, why are you with them? Baron Sergio served as a close aide to my uncle. I am glad to see you well, your highness. Though it pains me to present my shameful self to you once more after failing my lord. Do not say that. It is I who have failed you. Rhea, we're standing out too much. Let's move somewhere else. Oh, it's as Alan says. It is fortunate that there were few people nearby, but standing out certainly was not advisable. Clearia Sama, these people are? Dalsham inquired. They are my comrades. Be at ease. They can be trusted. Let us change location for now. We have booked an inn nearby. Let us head there for the time being. Baron Sergio suggested. All right, understood. The inn Baron Sergio led us to was really quite nearby. It was just a two-minute walk from the guild. It was a small inn, so all the rooms have been rented out. Over here, your highness. The room we entered was on the larger side, and there I found more familiar faces. They were fifteen men all in all, including Dalsham's group. Everyone was wearing adventurer equipment and clothing. Oh, your highness. We are glad you're safe, princess. I am glad to see all of you as well. All of them knelt down on one knee in front of me. Oh my, I am no longer in a position to warrant such a gesture of fealty. Please rise, everyone. Please tell me what all of you have been up to since we went our separate ways. It was Dalsham who spoke on behalf of the entire group. It seems they fled with an empty carriage toward the Cecilio kingdom, encountered and fought adventurers who seemed to have been sent to pursue them, and searched for my whereabouts in the Cecilio kingdom in secret after shaking their pursuers off. They seemed to have been through quite a hard time. We were elated when we saw that quest regarding the wyvern at the local adventurer's guild branch. It was you who thought of it, right, Dame Norian? I did suggest using that code, Captain Dalsham. But the details were ironed out by the three of us. Elna answered, Clearia Sama, these people are? These people are my friends and comrades. We have registered ourselves as an adventurer party. I shall tell you about what happened to me when we got separated as well. I started telling the rest of the knights about what happened to me, starting from getting attacked by more than thirty greyhounds as I fled to the Belta Kingdom while being escorted by royal guards led by Captain Antes. I told them that all the knights, including Captain Antes, had died while protecting me, and that if it wasn't for Alan, I would have died as well. I also told them about how Alan nursed me and helped me recuperate, as well as about our travels while heading for the city and eventually meeting Elna here. You got injured, your highness? I have already recovered. In fact, I seem to be healthier than before.